Hi, I'm Lam Nguyen, and welcome to AYP. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use a flash in order to create a non-flash-like look. And I'm going to show you a couple of different methods and a few different tools that you're going to need to accomplish this. The first and most important tool is going to be the flash itself. There are going to be a couple of things that we can do with the flash, like bouncing it off of walls and other surfaces in order to achieve a natural light look. And then we're also going to add a few different tools to the flash itself to create different looks that you might want to create for your environment. The nice thing about using this type of flash is that you can control the direction that it's pointing and the power of each individual shot. So how much power the flash is actually kicking out and how much that will mean for your environment. You can rotate your flash and bounce it off of various surfaces in the room in order to achieve different effects. The first tool is what's called a bounce reflector. A bounce reflector is made to mimic a light source that is much larger than your flash itself, so it can create a larger, softer light on your subjects. The nice thing about a bounce reflector is that it still allows you to use directional light, but it softens up your light source and creates a much, much softer quality of light on your subjects. With the bounce reflector, you want to point it away from your subject in order to achieve a softer effect. The next tool is what's called a direct diffuser. The direct diffuser will take the flash that you have now and turn it into a much, much softer source. It's very similar to a bounce reflector in that it creates a very soft quality of light, but it focuses the light into a single direction. With the direct diffuser, you can also bounce it off the ceilings and walls in order to get a much softer diffuse look. Keep in mind that you'll be losing a little bit of flash power, so compensate with your flash. The last is what's called the dome diffuser. Now this is kind of a nice combination between the other two in that it gives you a very diffuse light, but it also creates a much broader light source that's omnidirectional, so it feels a lot more natural. It will also create the diffuse light, just like the bounce reflector and the traditional diffuser. A quick note on diffusion. Because we're using all of these tools to effectively soften the light that's coming from your flash, you'll need to expose for that properly. So, on your ETTL or on your camera itself, set your exposure to plus one. For best results, try a few different settings in the environments you're shooting to see what gives you the best result. So as you can see, using a flash isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can use the flash in a lot of different ways, and all of the tools that we showed you don't cost you very much money at all. You can go and purchase either the bounce reflector or the dome diffuser um, or even the direct diffuser for less than $50 from B&H Photo. Thank you for joining us here at AYP. Stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show. And we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.